Imagine a dam so massive, it didn't just reshape a river. It changed the rotation of the Earth. A structure holding enough water to flood Paris 40 times over. A project so ambitious that it was debated for a century before finally becoming a reality. It sounds like science fiction, but in a nation that built the Great Wall, long enough to stretch across the US nearly four times, turning the impossible into reality is nothing new. So why did China build this engineering marvel? How did they pull it off? And how did one dam transform the lives of millions? Let's uncover the mind-blowing story of one of the biggest dams in the world. The Three Gorges Dam isn't just a wall holding back water. It's a jaw-dropping feat of modern engineering, as immense in scale as it is in ambition. Imagine trying to control the Mississippi with a single structure, or channeling the raw power of the Amazon through a network of colossal turbines. Only this project takes that concept to an entirely new level. And it all starts with this river, the Yangtze, China's longest and the third longest in the world. From its source here to its mouth here, this mighty river stretches 3,915 miles or 6,300 kilometers. And right at its heart stands one of humanity's most ambitious megastructures, the Three Gorges Dam. China's relationship with the Yangtze River has always been a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's the country's lifeline, sustaining hundreds of millions with water, food, and vital trade routes. On the other, it's a relentless force of destruction, a ticking time bomb, a disaster waiting to unfold. For centuries, the Yangtze has been infamous for devastating floods, wiping out entire towns, displacing millions, and at its worst, claiming hundreds of thousands of lives in a single catastrophe. The deadliest on record? The Great Flood of 1931, a disaster so immense that it drowned villages, destroyed crops, and left an estimated 4 million people dead from flooding, starvation, and disease. To put that into perspective, that's like the entire population of Los Angeles vanishing in just a few months. The Yangtze wasn't just a river. It was an untamed beast, and China decided it was time to take control. China needed more than just a quick fix. It needed a permanent solution, a way to control the Yangtze for good. And in the mid-20th century, an idea emerged, one so bold, so massive, it almost seemed impossible. What if they built a dam so colossal, so powerful, that it could not only tame the Yangtze's deadly floods, but also generate a staggering amount of electricity, enough to fuel a nation growing at an explosive pace. It sounded insane, but they did it anyway. And the result? You guessed it, the Three Gorges Dam. This isn't just a dam, it's a megastructure on a mind-blowing scale. Stretching 1.4 miles or 2.3 kilometers across the Yangtze, roughly the length of 24 football fields, and soaring 607 feet or 185 meters high, nearly twice the height of the Statue of Liberty. But here's the real jaw-dropper. This engineering beast produces as much electricity as 15 nuclear power plants combined. The question, why so much energy? At the time, China was facing a major energy crisis. Cities were expanding, industries were booming, and the country's primary energy source, coal, just wasn't cutting it. It was dirty, inefficient, and nowhere near enough to sustain China's explosive growth. Hydropower, on the other hand, was clean, renewable, and immensely powerful. And more importantly, it was possible. The plan was ambitious. Once completed, the Three Gorges Dam would generate 22,500 megawatts of electricity enough to power the entire United Kingdom, or roughly 60 million homes. To put that into perspective, if you combined every house in California and Texas, this one dam could power them all. But what's truly remarkable? This wasn't some new, radical idea. The vision for this dam had been around for over a century. Believe it or not, the idea for this dam wasn't new. 
The first sparks of the concept date back to the early 1900s, when Sun Yat-sen, the founding father of modern China, proposed damming the Yangtze. Decades later, in the 1940s, American engineers even drafted plans. The political turmoil and lack of funding put the project on ice. It wasn't until the 1990s, under Deng Xiaoping and Jiang Zemin, that China finally had the resources, workforce, and political will to bring the vision to life. By 1994, construction was underway. Nine years later, in 2003, the reservoir began filling. By 2012, the dam was fully operational. Against all odds, a century-old vision had become reality. But here's the real question. How do you even build something like this? A dam so enormous, it literally altered the Earth's rotation. Let's break it down for you. When the reservoir filled, it held a staggering 39 trillion kilograms, or 86 trillion pounds, of water, redistributing mass on a planetary scale. This massive shift actually caused a slight change in the Earth's rotation, lengthening our days by 0.06 microseconds. That's 60 nanoseconds. That's right, this dam literally changed the world. The sheer weight of the water even nudged the Earth's axis by about 2 centimeters, or 0.8 inches. And if that's not mind-blowing enough, the dam is so enormous it's visible from space, and it contains enough concrete to build 15 Empire State buildings. So the big question is, how do you even construct something this massive? Building the Three Gorges Dam wasn't just about placing a barrier across a river, it was about reshaping nature itself. It meant bending one of the world's most powerful rivers to human will. To do that, engineers had to pull off something almost unimaginable. Stop the mighty Yangtze in its tracks. That's no easy feat. The Yangtze isn't just any river. It stretches over 3,900 miles, carrying more water than the Mississippi and Amazon combined. Left unchecked, it could flood cities, destroy farmland, and consume everything in its path during the rainy season. So before construction could even begin, engineers had to reroute the river. The first step? building massive cofferdams, temporary barriers designed to hold back the water while the main structure took shape. These weren't just simple barriers, they were towering fortresses of earth and rock, built to hold back and redirect one of the most powerful rivers on earth. It was a battle of brute force, machines tearing through the landscape, workers racing against time, all to keep the raging Yangtze under control. Once the river was tamed, the real construction began. The dam itself spans 1.4 miles, or 2.3 kilometers, long enough to fit the entire Las Vegas Strip, and soars 607 feet, or 185 meters high, towering over the Washington Monument. But size wasn't the only challenge. This dam had to withstand an almost unimaginable amount of pressure. The reservoir behind it holds back 39 trillion kilograms of water, to put that into perspective, that's like stacking 10 billion elephants on top of each other, pushing against the dam every second, every day. To handle that raw force, engineers didn't just pour concrete and hope for the best. They used roller compacted concrete, a super strong material designed to endure the relentless pressure of millions of gallons of water surging through its turbines. And speaking of turbines, there are 32 of them. Each one weighs as much as a Boeing 747 and spins with enough power to light up entire cities. This is where the Three Gorges Dam truly flexed its engineering might. More than just a dam, it became the most powerful hydroelectric facility on the planet, generating a staggering 22,500 megawatts of electricity. Instead of relying on coal, China was now tapping into the raw energy of the Yangtze fueling its booming industries with clean, renewable power. But energy wasn't the only challenge. The Yangtze was a critical trade route. Before the dam, large cargo ships struggled to navigate its wild currents and unpredictable water levels. The solution? A massive five-stage shiplock system, with each chamber the size of four Olympic swimming pools. As if that wasn't impressive enough, engineers went even further building a vertical ship lift, 
a floating elevator capable of lifting entire vessels 500 feet into the air. With the dam's massive structure in place, it was time for the final phase, installing 34 generators, 32 primary generators, and two backups to ensure continuous power. Then came the defining moment, demolishing the cofferdams with explosives, allowing the Yangtze to flow freely once more. As water surged through, it powered the turbines, officially bringing the dam to life. By July 2012, the final generator was fully operational, transforming the Yangtze River into a hydroelectric giant and securing the Three Gorges Dam's place as one of the most ambitious engineering feats in history. From an engineering perspective, this dam was nothing short of a masterpiece, a true triumph of human innovation. But as we all know, triumphs don't come without sacrifices. To bring this massive project to life, China was faced with a harsh decision. Entire communities had to be displaced. In total, over 1.3 million people, that's more than the population of Dallas, were forced to leave their homes. Centuries-old villages vanished beneath the rising waters. Ancient temples, burial sites, and priceless historical relics were swallowed by the expanding reservoir, lost forever. Some of these villages were carefully relocated, brick by brick, to higher ground. But for many, there was no second chance. They were simply erased from history. Even for those who were moved, the promises of new homes and better opportunities often fell short. Families were placed in small, hastily built apartments in unfamiliar cities. Farmers, whose families had worked the land for generations, suddenly found themselves jobless, their fields buried under hundreds of feet of water. The government called it progress, but for those displaced, it felt less like progress and more like an eviction on a truly unimaginable scale. Then came the unintended consequences. When you hold back that much water, you don't just control a river, you reshape the land itself. And when you change the mighty Yangtze, nature doesn't stand idly by, it fights back. Over time, Scientists began noticing landslides along the riverbanks, triggered by the fluctuating water levels. Villages that were never meant to be affected suddenly found themselves slipping away, their foundations crumbling into the river below. And that wasn't all. Earthquakes in the region began to increase, sparking fears that the immense weight of the reservoir was pressing on hidden fault lines deep beneath the earth. What had been hailed as the win of the century now it looked like it might turn into the end of China. But the challenges didn't stop there. Even the mighty dam itself wasn't invincible. Sediment, carried downstream for thousands of years, began to pile up behind the dam. Over time, this buildup could severely impact the dam's efficiency, limiting its power generation capabilities. In the worst case scenario, if the sediment isn't carefully managed, it could lead to catastrophic structural failures, threatening everything the dam was built to protect. Let's break it down further. Every river carries sediment, a mix of sand, silts, and minerals, and the Yangtze is no exception. The Three Gorges Dam was built to allow sediment to flow downstream, but yearly, around 200 million tons of sediment build up in the reservoir. Over time, this buildup reduces the dam's storage capacity, disrupts water flow, and limits its ability to generate power. Even worse, trapping sediment throws the river's natural balance off kilter, leading to increased erosion downstream. Without its usual deposits of silt, the river starts to eat away at its banks, threatening local ecosystems and infrastructure. To manage this, engineers used dredging and sediment control techniques, but these methods come with their own set of challenges, including high maintenance costs and environmental risks. And as if that wasn't enough, the dam's influence extends far beyond energy production. Its impact on the environment and local communities is undeniable. To this day, habitat loss continues to threaten species that once flourished along the Yangtze River. The growing sediment buildup disrupts entire ecosystems, while landslides along the reservoir banks put nearby communities at significant risk. Seismic concerns remain as well, with the immense weight of the dam combined with its proximity to fault lines, raising fears it could trigger earthquakes. Despite these challenges, 
China remains steadfast in its commitment to the dam. Officials argue that it has saved millions of lives by preventing floods and that the clean energy it generates is a far more sustainable option than coal. When completed in 2012, the dam stood at an impressive 185 meters, or 607 feet tall, stretching across the Yangtze like a giant's belt, holding back a reservoir capable of containing over 39 billion cubic meters of water. To put that into perspective, that's enough water to drown the entire city of Paris under 40 feet of water. Economically, the dam has opened up new possibilities, allowing larger ships to travel deeper into China, thereby boosting both trade and industry. Today, the Three Gorges Dam continues to serve as a major source of hydroelectric power and flood control, but its ability to manage extreme floods remains controversial. With its limited reservoir capacity, Operators often face the difficult decision of releasing water during heavy rains, which increases the risk of downstream flooding. To boost its efficiency, AI-based optimizations are being explored to enhance its energy production, pushing it beyond its current 45% capacity. But the real question is, was it worth the cost? When compared to the Hoover Dam, the Three Gorges generates 15 times more power, but also displaces nearly 200 times as many people. Compared to Egypt's Aswan Dam, which also harnesses the power of a legendary river, the Three Gorges displaced more than twice as many people and flooded an even larger area. The scale of sacrifice here is on a level that only a few other projects can match. So was it an engineering marvel? Absolutely. But was it also a nightmare? For over a million people, the answer is just as clear. What are your thoughts on the Three Gorges Dam? Is it a remarkable feat of engineering? Or does its massive impact make you question whether the cost was too high? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you love deep dives into the world's most ambitious mega projects, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And if you thought this dam was massive, wait until you see what 2025 has in store for us. Check out this video right here. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.